Hey guys, what is up? It's Louise, and today I am bringing you a free-for-all match from Modern Warfare 3. You don't really see... Hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. There we go, I can talk now. You don't really see free-for-all from me. Um, I used to find it quite scary, but uh, I thought, bugger it, I'll try it. And it seems to be the only game type that I can get anything in on Modern Warfare 3, so sod it. It's not like the best gameplay in the world. I think I get like 19 deaths, but I win, so I don't care. And I think most of my deaths actually come from the end when I kind of like start getting maybe a little bit cocky and but also a little bit panicky as well because I'm like, oh my god, I'm so close to winning, but somebody else is as well, and they go, fuck! So, yeah, it's like that. But anyway, yeah, oh well. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. Basically, I don't even know what's going on with that predator missile there. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, I'm using the ACR with Slight Hand Pro, uh, Quick Draw Pro, and Steady Aim Pro, I believe. And I've got the FMGs because those the Kimbo FMGs so overpowered. Those little beasts, they're bad little bad boys. And I thought, you know what? Everyone else is using them. I'm gonna fucking use them too. So yeah. That's what I've been doing, um, and then I've just got like UAV, Predator missile, and attack chopper. But I don't, I don't think I get my attack chopper in this, do I? No, I'm like one off it, and I get killed or something at one point, and I'm like really pissed off, and I'm like, oh my god, you fucking bastard! But yeah, but then again, when I look back at it, it was my own fault. So anyway, um, what I want to talk to today about is the YouTube drama that's going on at the moment because I love all this YouTube drama. It gives me something else to be like, woo. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's that's what I always talk about today. And the YouTube drama is... Uh, this guy, YouTube Doxer, or whatever his bloody name is, because I've been reading all the Twitter as well. And um, the the YouTube Doxer, like, I don't know, apparently, like, doxed Woody's game tag and put out stuff about him, like, personal information, like, where he lives, his phone number or something. Um, so there's all been all that because... And this is the reason he did it. Uh, Woody's Gamertag charges people $500 to give them a shout out on his channel, which I think is fucking ridiculous. For a start, why would you pay someone $500 for a shout out on their channel? And nothing might come of it anyway, but seriously. So I think, for one, it's a ridiculous amount of money. It really is. I don't care what Woody's Gamertag says about, oh, well, on the channel of his size, it should be about two grand, so he's doing people a favour, basically. And that's bullshit. Um, I think it, it's wrong, it's out of order, and that's the end of it. So, um, but also, I think shout outs, they shouldn't be given out just because, oh, someone's paid them money. No, they should be given out because, you know, this person has potential and they're doing a good job. You know, it's just ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Um, and all these people saying that, oh, we'll give Woody a break because he's got family to feed. I'm sorry, but there's no way that guy is, you know, poor in any way. He's earning YouTube money. He's got a job as a, is it a computer programmer or something like that. So he's definitely okay where money is concerned. Trust me on that one. So, and he's about to give up his job for the YouTube altogether or something. So he's definitely fine where that's concerned. So, you know, I'm not hating on Woody because I still like Woody. Though I do think he's made a bit of a dick move. So there's that, and now this YouTube doctor is saying that he's going to like dox other big YouTubers as well if they don't behave themselves. Some people think this YouTube doctor is a god, other people think he's not. He doxed uh, DJ Keemstar, which I can, <laughs> I can totally, I like DJ Keemstar, but he does fucking deserve it. He's a bastard at the end of the day, but at least he admits he doesn't try and hide it in any which way. So, so there's that. Um... So, yeah, but I, I, don't, I love this YouTube drama. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to be involved in it, but you've got all this, and you've. So, that, that's one of the YouTube dramas, and you've got. Also, they're all talking about is. Um, with Woody's Gamer Tags Mail Mondays. And I like watching those Mail Mondays and hearing other people's problems, because I do like hearing other people's problems. Um, but it's also the fact that they. Um, Sometimes, you know, I, I listen to the advice Woody gives, and I'm like, eh. 
and other times I'm like, you know, he gave some really good advice there, or his wife, he, like, she does the advice as well sometimes, and she gives some really good advice, um, which, you know, of course she does, she's a woman, women give the best advice, and you second chance bitch, anyway, um, so yeah, so, but, so he got a, he got asked not to do any more for that week or something in his mail Monday, not anything sexual. And then the sexual question. So he didn't, but he made sure everyone knew that he'd had a message from some guy saying that he gets a boner over his sister. So, um, of course, well, everyone wanted to hear about it, apparently. So he he then did another video where the guy the guy said he, he's got a 19 year old sister. He gets a boner. He started thinking about her sexually because um, he gets on really well with her and he starts to think about her sexually and in, he tries to, whenever she's getting changed and you know she's naked or whatever, he tries to see everything and he gets a boner. Now to me that's just wrong. Now the kid sounds like he's like a teenager so maybe you know hormones flying all over the place, something weird like this is going to happen. But would he turn around and told him that basically this is fine? Um, and didn't mention the fact that hey dude you shouldn't be trying to see your sister naked, that is fucking wrong. Because not only is she your sister, but even if she wasn't your sister, you shouldn't be trying to see someone naked. You know, that is a personal, private thing. You know, I wouldn't want someone trying to, you know, I mean, I've got two sisters, so no, they wouldn't be trying to see me naked. Um, though even those, that wouldn't be so bad, because, you know, they're sisters, so... But, you know, if I had a brother or something, and he was trying to see me naked, or just, just a friend who was, like, constantly trying to see me naked or something, I'd be pissed off. Like, no, the only people that see me naked is, like, me and whoever I'm going out with at the time. That is it. They're the only people that see me naked. No one else. So, that, I was a bit sort of like, right, first off, Woody, you've told this guy that it's okay and it's normal when it's not. And you need to tell the guy this, because if you're telling him that it's normal and it's, and it's okay, he's going to keep on doing it, you know, and he's not going to think anything of it, and he's not going to try and change his ways. And then, <coughs> oh, I get i a great bitch. <coughs> and then, he's like, trying to like, I don't know, it was just fucking weird. Like, and then he doesn't even tell him like, dude, do not be looking at your sister naked. What the fuck? Dude, make sure you get that in there, you know? These, these people, these mostly teenagers and teenage boys are coming to you for advice. They see you as a father figure and you're giving them shit advice. That is all I've got to say. So there's that. Then there's the whole thing with White Boy, and um, he got his place robbed, and he, um, they like fucked up his parents' memorial. Right, okay. At first, when I saw the video, um, I was kind of like, oh my god, is it another little publicity stunt from White Boy? But when I saw the thing with the memorial, with the parents, um, I was like, okay, no, it's real, because he wouldn't do that. Like, nobody in their right mind would do that. So, I was like, okay, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. No, because nobody in their right mind would fuck up their parents' memorial for a bit of a publicity. Um, but then there was a massive drama over that with Funda, um, who I love, by the way, um, saying that he had, like, been, like, um, slagging off White Boy and slagging off his wife. Uh, slagging off White Boy's dead parents. He never slagged off White Boy's dead parents. He didn't hear the bit about, he didn't know about the bit about the parents' memorial, and then he turned around and said, well, where's their police report? Which I think is understandable because YB is known for his little publicity stunts. So if he says he's got robbed again and then he's putting up, like, he put up like two videos, it didn't really take two videos, about him uh, being robbed, then you might, yeah, you're gonna think, your first initial reaction is gonna be, yeah, dude, what's going on there? You know what I mean? But then afterwards, once he heard about the parents, he was like, okay, sorry, I made a mistake. So, thing. And what is this about Modern Warfare 2 Joe knows, like, he, I don't even know where that's come from. I can't find where that's come from. That he's friends with the people that robs White Boy. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, well, at least Modern Warfare 2 Joe will now know that he's made it big. If he's getting pulled into these fucking stupid YouTube dramas, he will know that he's now made it big. There's just no, de there's no denying that now, is there? So, <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what I wanted to talk about. So anyway guys, um, that's my little opinion on it, I just I just thought it'd be something to talk about over this gameplay basically, and just, you know, do my usual rambling. So anyway guys, um, yeah, let me know what you think to it all, and remember, 
I love you very much, you sexy beasts. Bye!